What's up, YouTube? Mike here from PP Dangler Channel. Uh, we're doing another product review for you here today. Uh, super excited about this. We got the Cronova XPE660 LED projector. Always wanted one of these bad boys. Uh, got reached out uh, from Amazon, wanted me to do a review on this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this. I'll show you what's in the box. Uh, we'll talk about the feature specs, you know, kind of what I like, what I don't like. Uh, and then obviously I'm going to show you it working, uh, so we'll check that out, give you my impression at the end. So go ahead, stick around. Like I said, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for all your support. But let's go ahead and get this thing started and unbox this baby. Alright guys, welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Uh, just to give you some uh, a little bit of specs here first before we do that. Uh, it does retail for $229 on Amazon. However, there is a coupon code that you can that you can just check the box. You don't have to enter in no code or anything. Just check the box. Saves you 10%. Um, this is a 1080p HD uh, LED projector. Uh, the main two things you want to look for when you're buying or looking to buy a projector are your brightness and your contrast ratio. And for the price range, this has one of the best. Um, that's why I think it's so popular. Again, you're going to read reviews online everything, and they're going to be mostly positive. Uh, from what I have saw, everyone really enjoys this. So it's got a 5,000 uh, lux brightness and a 4,000 to 1 contrast ratio, which is really good. Um, so let's go ahead and pop this open. There we go. Box over here is the unit. Uh, nothing else in there. And we just got the projector and this box, basically. So we'll go ahead and slide this out. Uh, but that's nice. Cool. All right, cool. Uh, so first impressions, a uh, nice looking unit, and uh, seems like the build quality is on par for sure. Let me get you down here a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Seems solid enough. Uh, it does weigh in at six pounds. It is 12 inches wide, nine inches deep, and four and a half inches tall. Uh, so there's your dimensions. Just give you a quick look around it here. I know it's kind of Xboxy to me for some reason. I don't know. Nice quality there. There's your IR sensor. It does come with a remote control, which is awesome. Uh, your air intake probably here. Kind of like a matte white finish here with a silver trim. Uh, looks sharp. This thing is awesome. Uh, here's the right side, just power. I can see uh, heat sinks. and This does have three cooling fans on here. Uh, the LED does get hot, so that is required. But the claimed lamp life, 50,000 hours. Here's on the back, you got your inputs here. You got two HDMI inputs, two USB inputs, your power switch, and power cable. Awesome. And on this side, you got a... AV out and audio out and your VGA and I'm assuming these two blacks uh, black circles right here are the speakers and then on the front here yeah you got your lens it says LCD projector lens 190 millimeters and on the bottom rubber mounts and then you got an adjustable mount to uh, raise and lower you know your picture there we go All right, on the top here branded Cronova then you got just different menu, pause, play, power, back, and then some menu settings. So in the little black box here that came with it, you have, it does come with an HDMI cable. That's awesome. Your remote, very nice. I'll let you know if that has batteries in it or not. Power cable, always nice to have that. And it looks like just a standard regular PC cable too, so that's cool. It's not proprietary. Um, if you lose it, it looks like you can definitely just use a PC Power cable. It does have an adapter for your red, white, and blue if you want to hook up like an old DVD player or some or even VCR. If you still have a VCR, come on man, it's 2019. Step it up. Your warranty card, uh, it does come with a 12-month warranty. And uh, here's a contact card for Cronova. A gift card, 20% off purchase. Cleaning tissues for the Len. And then the owner's manual itself. Everything that comes with the box contents, all your adjustments, settings. And I was right, those black speakers on the left side were the speakers. Here's your remote control options, how to plug it in, how to start it up. You can adjust the focus, uh, all the different things you can hook it up to, some product specifications. Now it goes from 60 inch all the way up to 200 inches, and that is over 16 feet. So that's quite a big image. Does 1080p, full HD. 
And I'm super excited about this. Uh, like I said, uh, I've read nothing but good reviews online. Again, what you're really looking for is that uh, the brightness and the contrast ratio. Those are really going to determine the ultimate picture that you get. And coming in at 5,000 brightness, 4,001 contrast. And I'm going to show you here later in the video. I'm just going to go through a couple things first. I did mention uh, it's adjustable from 60 inches uh, to 200 inches. So you can put this on the side of your house, you know, if you want to. Uh, it does have two HDMIs, two USBs. You can hook it up to your PC, Mac, tablet, iPhone, Android, Samsung, whatever, Fire TV, Roku, Chromecast, hook up a DVD player, PS4, Xbox. Put your movies on a thumb drive, pl plug in the thumb drive to the USB, fire that up. I did mention that the lamp life was 50,000 hours. Uh, you know, I guess there's no way for me to dispute that. Um, you know, that's a lifetime. So, uh, pretty nice system out of the box. Totally impressed with it. Um, again, uh, it's going to have to wait to nighttime. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and fiddle around with the system, see if I can get it, you know, going here and uh, working correctly. And then when I got that done, I'll bring it back on camera and we'll figure out, uh, I'll show you how to use it, set it up, all that. I'll show you the picture. Uh, so stick around for that. Uh, Cronova XPE660. I'll leave a link in the description as well uh, if you want to go ahead and check it out on Amazon. All right, so stand by and uh, we'll get this thing fired up here in a second. All right, guys, so before we go outside and test it here, I just want to do a little uh, demonstration inside here first. Uh, outside, it's a little bit noisy. I just want to make sure you can hear me clearly. Um, you know, when we fire this up, I'll, I'll show you the menus and all that. Setup super easy. Uh, I did have to put in batteries in the remote. It takes two AAAs, so those weren't included. Uh, but the remote is nice, feels nice, it's solid, and it works great. Uh, so I'll show you the, the setup here that I got. Again, this is just crude on my, you know, my dining room table. Um, power cable plugged in and USB with movies installed on there, plugged into the USB drive. That's it. Uh, you can use all the functionality here. It's the same as a remote. Uh, for these demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the remote. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. That green light comes on. Uh, again, sorry for the picture in the way. Uh, I'm not taking it down. Uh, it's on there with them sticky Velcro strips five, maybe six feet. Uh, I did have to adjust the front. Let me go back down here. Uh, this is how you adjust the focus. As you can see, it's getting blurry. Maybe you can't see. It's blurry, you can't read it. And then this tightens it up. There we go. So that's pretty good right there. Uh, it's recognizing the USB hub there. Uh, as you can see on the left, I got that plugged in. Um, and these are your selections. You got photo, music, text, and movie. Uh, so before we get into all that, uh, I'm just going to show you some of the settings here that I messed with. And that's M for menu. So we'll hit that. So you can change your picture mode here. You got dynamic, standard, soft, and then user. You can set up your own. I keep it on dynamic. I think it looks good. Whoops. Uh, color temperature, you can change between medium, warm, and user. Again, I like medium. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9, 4 by 3 in auto. And then the keystone correction, I think, is crucial here. I kind of got a black screen, so it's kind of hard to... Let's see if I can get out of here. And then I got my daughter's movies on here. And then you just hit the play button. Uh, it doesn't take long to load. Um, I'm going to turn this down here. Because uh, the speakers on it, I am impressed by the speakers. I will say that uh, from some of the reviews, that was the one con that I saw people list. And um, now the quality may not be there, but the sound output is there. It's plenty loud enough to listen to outside. Um, I'm going to turn it down. I still want to get copyrighted on this. So... Uh, what was I going to do? Okay, so we have the keystone correction. So what this is going to do as you move in and out, or the angle that you have your projector on, the angle that your screen's on, it's going to alter the, the image. So the keystone correction 
You just line it up until you got them right angles. So, there we go. So that looks good right there. So I'll back out of there. Uh, what else we got? Sound, uh, sound mode, you move it, you can change that to different sounds, balance, auto volume, surround, EQ, uh, sound source, uh, you got clock, you can enter the clock in, uh, time, date, sleep timer, auto sleep, that's pretty neat, I haven't messed with any of that, you can change the language, uh, blending, I haven't got into that, uh, there's a software update, and there's a high speed fan on here, I'll try to mute this, so you can hear the fan, because you can't change it. That's off. And it's probably 5 to 10 decibels higher when you turn it on. If you heard that. And uh, back to picture mode. Uh, so those are your settings. Pretty straightforward, uh, pretty straightforward menu. Uh, the picture looks awesome. Let me get, again, it, it's not pitch black in here by any any stretch. Um, and it, I think we're just kind of too close here. Uh, but I think the picture looks great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll give you a quick demo. I think it's going to do great. Uh, again, I haven't had it outside yet. Uh, just in a room, but I think that's plenty loud enough if you're, you know, sitting somewhat close to it. Um, so those are the settings on it. Um, overall, it's run good. My kid loves it. Uh, she's been watching movies uh, all morning, pretty much. I haven't hooked up the VGA, uh, but that's pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, you can plug, you know, a computer monitor from your laptop or whatever right into there if you're going to use this for business purposes. Uh, super easy there. You can hook up external speakers, surround sound, right, you know, stereo system. If, if that's your bag, have right at it. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Just wanted to give you one quick look at the remote. I know I didn't show it that much. Uh, it does have its power button and mute button, uh, which is nice. Uh, forward search, forward reverse, um, skip, play, pause, and then this button right here in the middle. You press that, it'll change, it'll rotate 90 degrees the image. So if you got it on its side, upside down, hanging from a ceiling, whatever that is. Uh, just menu navigation buttons. The M is for memory. The S is for, I'm sorry, the S is for source. It's your source button. So that's how you change between inputs, uh, i.e. USB, HDMI, VGA, etc. Uh, so that's the remote. It's nice. It feels, feels nice. Kind of feels like an Apple remote for a... Uh, for an Apple TV. Real nice, I like that. Here's just another look at the projector. Um, when you have it plugged in, that red kind of standby light stands on, that doesn't bother me. Uh, fires up quick though. Uh, so far, super impressed with it. I love it. I got it set on my wallet there just because I'm inside so close. Kind of a crude setup, but uh, I will have a, a real deal set up for you uh, when I get back, so stand by. Expects reasonable treatment from his neighbors and their children. Uh -huh. I was with the post office for 43 and a half years. Yeah, I'm never uh, running a little late. If you'd like, I'll come by after work and we can continue the conversation. There's nothing to continue. I'd send my team to leave the back. Boys, let's come over here unless he behaves himself. Got this up against a fence. It's about got to be 12 feet across. Don't. He's out of school now. He can't spend all his free time here. I'm not the bad guy in this, Mitchell. I'm the victim. I love it. George, who are you shouting at? Mitchell, and I wasn't shouting. I was making my point. Today is an important day for me, and I'm already in a lather because of that kid. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to enjoy my moment of triumph. No, no, don't get your hopes up. All right, guys, so I hope you liked that little demonstration uh, of the projector. You know, I set it up outside. We watched a movie. Uh, it worked great, sounded great. The picture was fine. Uh, everything worked out. Uh, this is a, an overall. I'm definitely happy with the projector. Uh, I really like it. Again, it's the Cronova XPE 660. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you know, it retails for $229, uh, and then you do get a 10% off coupon. Uh, I may be getting a coupon code for this. I'll keep you updated on that. Check the description. If it's there, it's there. Uh, remote's good. You got to get batteries for the remote. Uh, the speakers, 
like I said, I, on some of the other reviews, some of the complaints were about the speakers. Uh, they're definitely loud enough. Uh, they're just not super high quality. It's not Adobe Digital or nothing like that. Um, but they're definitely doable. They work. Uh, it's loud. It pumps. Uh, it's even got a little bass to it. Uh, I was pretty surprised. Uh, I think they sound good. Uh, good, not great. So uh, that's my review. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, uh, if you stuck around for the whole thing, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. Click the notification button. Make sure you get my notifications. Uh, i got a couple other reviews coming up here within the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll get those out. If you guys have any questions about the projector, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. I'll... Uh, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.